Hi everyone, my name is Ben Brown from Bundaberg CQ and today I'm going to give a brief talk on clutch mechanisms. Well, let's get started. So what is a clutch? According to Google definitions, it is a mechanism of connecting and disconnecting an engine and the transmission system in a vehicle. According to Urban Dictionary, it's the assembly that engages and disengages a transmission. However, in Webster's, which is probably the most accurate dictionary description, it is a coupling used to connect and disconnect a driving and driven part of a mechanism. Okay, where are clutches found? Well, most commonly you'd think of cars, trucks, tractors, and most machinery. However, what you might not know is that they can also be found in drills, chainsaws, even yo-yos, and most car air conditioning systems. Now, there are three different types of clutches. There is the friction clutch, positive drive clutch, and centrifugal clutch. Frictional clutch is made by engaging two discs having faces made of metal or molded material. It is also made by engaging two members by the means of helical spring. Now, as I said earlier, a frictional clutch is mainly used in motor vehicles. In this example, of a friction clutch. The clutch lever puts pressure onto the drive shaft or the pulley. Then using friction between the pulley and the drive member, the driven member will turn. This is compared to a positive drive clutch. Now there are three main types of positive drive clutches. There's the paw and square tooth ratchet, the paw and sawtooth ratchet, and the face type ratchet. Now, as can be seen on the screen, the paw and square tooth ratchet are engaged and disengaged using this little ratchet just here. And that square tooth engages with the shaft. This other mechanism will be moved with the drive shaft. Same with the face type ratchet. A centrifugal clutch is usually found in chainsaws, yo-yos and other such devices. The centre shaft and weights spin as one. Weights are held against the shaft by the spring. When spinning fast enough, the centrifugal force on the weights overcome the force being applied by the spring and the weights are slung outward. They come in contact with the outside drum and the drum starts to spin. The drum weights and centre shaft become a single spinning unit because of the friction between the weights and the drum as can be seen in this diagram in the top right corner. What does a clutch mechanism do? It uses friction, interlocking parts or weights to attach or disconnect two shafts. One shaft drives and the other is driven and can be used in a wide variety of products from cars to yo-yos. Thank you for listening to this presentation. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. And until next time, this is Ben.